What's up guys this is Ardik here and today I'll be showing you the paranoid android rom for the Google Nexus 6P. So basically today I'll be showing you how to flash this rom as well as uh, what all we get in this rom. So what you have to do is just go into the link in the description below and download the um, ROM file as well as the G apps and just uh, paste it in your uh, internal storage. So if I just quickly show you, I did paste my Android um, ROM, the Open G apps as well as the uh, Beta Super SU to root uh, my 6P, and I did paste it in my internal storage and not in any folder but independently. So you just have to do is reboot into your bootloader. So if I do have a reboot bootloader option over here uh, but if you guys don't know how to do that I'll be showing you just turn on your device and then hold your um, power and volume down button at the same time so if you just hold your power and volume down and just let go if you see this so once here just have to scroll down using the volume uh, and select recovery mode using power so it will take you to the recovery mode so we'll just wait until uh, we are in the recovery mode. So here I do have a TWRP recovery. Suggest so uh, flashing TWRP recovery and not any other recovery because this is the most advanced recovery. And also uh, do one thing, just check your TWRP number. So it should be above 3.0 uh, just for this ROM to support on the device. So if you have, uh, as you can see, I have a TWRP number 3.0. 20 so this will support my device and this will help me to flash the rom but if you don't have the uh, number just update your twrp recovery so then what you have to do is just hit on the wipe go into advanced wipe select the dalvik art cache system data and cache don't select the internal storage as it will also um, delete or format the um, rom file and gfs that you have so once uh, you have done the wiping just going to install and first install the uh, Panard Android Angular that is PA Angular 6.0 and then uh, flash the G apps. The, don't select uh, both twice, uh, both at the same time. Don't add more zip because uh, that won't help and it may end up or you may end up in a boot loop. So you just have to do is first flash the Angular, uh, the ROM file, and then the G apps. So once that's done, just hit into as hit reboot and hit system so you are good to go also if you want root you could flash the super su uh, but if you don't want any root uh, and if you want the updates uh, for future updates on the paranoid android rom just don't root so that's up to you uh, but yeah I just i'll just leave the phone down here and i'll let you enjoy the new boot um, So once we are in, uh, for for some weird reason, I do get the Android system um, error here. So it says there's an internal problem with the device. I actually don't know what this is, uh, but yeah, it occurs on my device. And let me know in the comment section below if this occurs on your device as well. So I'll just enter my pin pattern real quick. And there we are in the parallel Android. And if I just go into my settings, and yeah, this here is the beta program that is the Android NOTA. Uh, it's not the future update of this ROM. So if you just go into the about phone, as you can see, it is based on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. There you go, as you can see. Then we'll just check out what all we get. So first of all, we get here is a new wallpaper. So that is pretty cool, as you can see. Uh, then there are no pre-installed apps, only these many apps. Uh, it depends on what G apps you flash on the device. So if you flash the mini one, you'll get on the Play Store and few stuff. So I did flash the stock one. So I got all the stock um, apps that you can see over here. Then also we have theme supports over here. So we'll just check that out later. Uh, then going into settings, you have the normal stuff that is the NFC and things. Uh, then going back into display for some reason uh, I guess this this ROM is also based on cyanogen mode so but for some reason in display you don't get the uh, to change the resolution of your device so it's not available in 
displays but we'll check it out if there is an option in developer mode or somewhere else then going into themes as you can see you have the default one you can get more themes from the play store then going back sound notification there are all all basic stuff as you can see you can give the notification access you can hit do not disturb mode and if you swipe from over here as you can see there is a quick pull down here as you can see uh, so yeah it will give you or it will prompt you to set this uh, off for default so going below to apps here all this here is as you can see similar to android m that is stock android m uh, but with new features you get the memory the battery options uh, I have heard a lot of good things about the battery life on this ROM so yeah I have yet to test it out so yeah there we go going back tap and pay uh, Android Pay is default but I don't know if Android Pay is yet available in India it's not basically so going down to location security accounts let's see if this ROM is uh, encrypted yes it is encrypted as you can see for some reason uh, when I rooted my Android N device it lost the encryption but yeah this ROM is encrypted uh, pre encrypted so that's a good thing we'll just uh, quickly enable the developer option and we'll just check out what all we have inside developer options uh, advanced reboot that is what I need then you have the picture color mode so that's pretty cool all stock stuff here as you can see scrolling down you have all the basic things so inactive apps it lets you know what app you don't use so I didn't flash it right now so that's the reason all the apps here are shown as inactive uh, or active as I say so going back let's see what all we get if you go into themes let's see if we could download more themes so if I just hit get more um, let's select play store uh, so there are tons of themes as you can see over here you can set it to android n so let's quickly uh, install the theme and let's see what all we get here so there we go it's installing and it is done so if you just hit back android n style theme style status bar nav bar everything uh, wallpaper yeah it's cool icons setting turn arms and apply applying it says there and then we are done so we just hit home you get the new wallpaper you get the that's pretty cool so there you go you get all the notification edge to edge notification let's see if the settings are changed yes they are but you don't get the uh, thing that you have in android and which basically it lets us know uh, for example how many apps are installed without even going into the app then yeah all the basic things you could basically install uh, many themes as you can see here there are tons of themes supporting this ROM so that's a pretty pretty good thing so yeah I have yet to test the battery life but as you can see 13 hours more left also you could change the battery icon if you tap over here you can make it circle so basically the circle will shrink according to your battery life so if you have let's say 15 percent it will be a little smaller so yeah just for you to know it's uh, the battery is little you can either set the text but i like the stock icon then you have the sound and stuff there you go so yeah that's pretty much it about this rom also let me know if you want a review for this rom or if you want me to try other roms as well just let me know in the comment section below and i'll be making other rom reviews as well in the future so yeah that's been it guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video give a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and i'll catch you guys in my next one